to the Hispanic Federation's Las Americas Conference Center. Uh, bienvenidos, this is your home. You are inter familia here at the Federation. I just want you to know that, okay? So the, the Affordable Care Act is definitely complicated, but if you break it down in four, at least this part will make sense to you, and that's how I like to explain it. So the Affordable Care Act, first, it has to, it's here to protect some of the worst insurance abuses, and I think we're, we know them what, where they are, what, what they are. We want to make sure that healthcare is more affordable. We want to strengthen Medicare, and I pointed to that, why that was so important. We want to improve access, and that's what we're talking about right now with the health insurance marketplace and the open enrollment that ends on March 31st. And besides that, importantly, we want to improve quality of care. Just because you have coverage doesn't guarantee that you get quality services uh, uh, right now in our country. So we're going to start with best practices and challenges. And uh, I'm going to you know, ask the first question. Uh, it's uh, there are different customs within each Hispanic origin. In your experience, reaching Hispanics, what have been some of the best practices to connect with, with the different segments of the Hispanic population? One of the biggest problems in reaching out to Latinos is that diversity and how to reach those different groups in, with different um, tactics, I guess. But um, I think a lot of it has to do with. Uh, peer involvement. I mean, if you're reaching out to Mexicans, send out a Mexican. If you're reaching out to Dominicans, send out Dominicans. If you're, if you don't have that, at least send out a Latino because have that. Be able to have somebody that can relate and have um, some type of uh, can can have that cultural competency to to answer questions and and talk to people and and understand the problems and understand where exactly they're coming from. Um, I think is is very important. There's a great potential uh, when it comes to the, um, the young invincibles. Well, because, well, first of all, yes, they, uh, you know, young invincibles do think that they're not going to get sick. However, there's a, bit, a high rate of, for example, asthma or diabetes in, in, the, in the Hispanic youth. So it, it will be a, a way to, um, to get to them would be to give them that type of information regarding those, those ailments. Uh, also, uh, that even though they have you know, low salaries, up to 26 years old, as, as Dr. Torres had mentioned, they can still join up the uh, insurance of their parents. And if their parents are not enrolled, I think uh, you know, young uh, Hispanics can become those evangelists, those uh, preachers, the ones that bring the, the whole idea of enrolling to their parents, to their uncles. So, uh, you know, talking about that whole idea, I think it's very important to reach them and engage them. And, you know, they're very passionate. So, you know, if it's to bring a cause to the table, they can really uh, take it to the next level. There is a fight that we need to, to unite. I mean, all, the, all here, we, we have to become partners. Partners in sharing the best practices. Partners in, in seeing what's available, in, uh, in, in sharing up what could work and can not work, because things, as you can see, something is not, something is not connecting. The numbers are not as, are not as, uh, as optimistic as, 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 as they should be. Now, we have a long way to go. We have, a, uh, we have some, uh, although the deadline is coming up, we have some months to, to come, and we have to work together. And I invite you to, to network right now. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming. And we hope uh, this is just the beginning of a, of a great relationship. Thank you.